Hello and welcome to Dia's Fun Play. In today's video, let's see what causes day and night. All planets and other celestial bodies in our solar system have continued spinning for billions of years and will continue to do so. Planets spin due to inertia. Spinning objects in space maintain their momentum and direction because there are no external forces that can stop them. And so, the Earth and the rest of the planets in our solar system will keep spinning for all the years to come. Most of the celestial bodies in our solar system, including the Sun, planets, moons and asteroids, all rotate counterclockwise. Though there is no specific reason for this, it could be due to the initial favorable conditions when our solar system was formed. Our home planet Earth is a rocky terrestrial planet with mountains, valleys, canyons, plains, oceans, rivers and much more. Water covers around 70% of the Earth's surface. Earth's atmosphere is made mostly of nitrogen and oxygen. Our Earth's atmosphere also protects us from incoming meteors, most of which burns up before they can hit the surface. Earth completes one rotation within its own axis in about 24 hours with respect to the Sun, and this is called a solar day. But our Earth takes only 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds for one complete rotation with respect to other distant stars. This is called a sidereal day. In other words, we can say a sidereal day is a time taken by the Earth to spin once so that the stars appear in the same position again in the night sky. Earth rotates in an anti-clockwise direction when viewed from the North Pole. Earth takes 24 hours for one complete rotation around its own axis and 365 days, 6 hours and 9 minutes for one complete revolution around the Sun. This 6 hours 9 minutes gets added up to about an extra day every 4th year and an extra day is added as February 29th and designated as a leap year. The rotation of the Earth with respect to its own axis causes day and night, and the revolution of the planet Earth around the Sun causes seasons. As the Earth rotates, each part of its surface gets a turn to face the Sun and gets warmed up. This is important to all life on the Earth as the Sun affects everything from the weather, growth of living beings, the food we eat and even our health. Imagine what happens if the Earth did not rotate. One half of the Earth would always be bright and hot and the other half would be dark and frozen. The Earth's axis is an imaginary line running from the North Pole to the South Pole. Every planet in our solar system has a North and a South Pole. The Earth's axis is not exactly vertical and not perpendicular to the orbital axis. Our Earth has a small axial tilt of about 23.5 degrees. Axial tilt is the angle between the Earth's rotational axis and its orbital axis. This axial tilt makes the sun shine on different parts of the Earth at different angles throughout the year and enables seasons. Without the tilt, there may be no seasons and all parts of the Earth may receive exactly 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness. Uranus has the largest axial tilt in our solar system. With an axial tilt of about 98 degrees, its north pole is nearly on its equator. Earth's rotation is gradually slowing with time. Days were shorter in the past. This is due to the tidal effects of the moon. Earth 
earth loses some rotational momentum when the large tidal waves get slammed on the land masses atomic clocks show that the current day is longer by around 1.7 milliseconds than a century ago an atomic clock is the most accurate type of clock in the world designed to measure time with the help of vibrations within atoms a standard atomic clock is so accurate that it would neither gain or lose a second for at least 30 million years the surface of the earth at the equator moves at the speed of about 460 meters per second or approximately 1000 miles per hour though we are spinning at a very high speed we do not feel the spin because we are held closely to the earth's surface by gravity and also due to our earth spinning at a very constant speed without any acceleration or deceleration our planet earth has been spinning for billions of years and will continue to spin for billions of years to come as there is nothing in the space to stop us thanks for watching bs1 play see you in the next video subscribe for more videos light up subscribe right here right now don't forget press the bell icon the choice is yours bs1 play